Hey guys, it's Robia Scott, and I want to talk to you for a few minutes about the new year. Here we are. It's 2018. We are in it. We're actually moving through it at a rapid pace. These years just keep going by. So I want to talk to you about this year and making the most of this year. But I don't want to talk to you in a super Christian-y, this is our best year yet and everything's going to change in 2018, even though I do think it's our best year yet and I do think everything can change in 2018. But I don't want to be super Christian-y about it. I want to be real about it. So on that note, I have a question for you. I'm posing a question. Are you ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Are you super clear? about what you want to achieve in 2018. And by super clear, I don't mean do you kind of, sort of have an idea about things that you may want to happen. Are you specific and are you super clear about what you want to achieve in 2018? Because I've learned a few things in my days. And one of the things I learned is just getting a plethora of emails from people talking about breakthrough and a new year that doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna have breakthrough this year. Just, just wanting to have a deeper walk with God where you hear his voice and operate in greater levels of authority and walk in more of the promises that are available to you as a Christian, that does not just happen because the calendar flips from 2017 to 2018. Having a better marriage that is intimate and fun and spicy, believe me, that does not just happen because we wish that it would happen. Uh, getting our finances in order doesn't just happen. Getting healthy and fit and losing weight and feeling great, none of these things just happen because we want them to. So I wanna to talk to you about what the majority of people do and what a very small percentage of people do. I think there are the 98 percenters who just hope things are going to change, who coast along, who cruise through day to day and just think that magically everything's going to be different in their lives. And then there's the two percenters, the people that walk the road less traveled. They are the champions. So I want to talk to you about becoming a champion this year. And I want to share with you a download that I received in prayer. It is about a champion's challenge. And that is what I'm going to start with you if you want to do it with me. I'm going to put together a group of people that are hungry to push past the 98% realm of living like most everyone else does. and we're going to gather a community of people who are pressing into the champion zone. Now listen, champions are not satisfied with the status quo. Champions are constantly pressing against their last best. Isn't that an awesome statement? Do you have your last best in mind? A time where you just knocked it out of the park? Now, we don't want to just live in the memory of that. We want to constantly be pressing against that, striving to gain ground. And, and by striving, I don't mean pressure and not being happy with where we are and not being content, because it's important to be content where we are. But at the same time, champions are constantly growing and consistently growing, not taking huge leaps, but small increments small increments of change on a regular basis that produce huge results. So I'm going to come back and tell you more, but I just want to plant that seed in you for right now about becoming a champion this year with me. I am here. I want to help you. And I'm going to throw down the gauntlet for the champion challenge. Are you in, playa?